Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is officially my first day of my sophomore year in college which is so huge and so exciting. I'm already having a super late start to the day because I got home from my trip at like 2 a.m. last night and I just spent some time uploading a video for you guys. So it is currently 4.30 which is a very very late start to my first day of school. But for those of you who know, you know the time that I do school really doesn't matter because I do college 100% online and at home. Although I would have loved to get up a little bit earlier and get started on everything I'm not that mad because it really doesn't matter We know that today all we're going to be doing is introducing ourselves to everyone So it's really not that big of a deal. So in conclusion today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my first day of my sophomore year in college, which is so exciting I love school so much. I have been waiting for this day for so long The first thing that I have been waiting to share with you guys is my new home screen on my computer It is so cute. I saw this girl like do this whole thing on TikTok with like widgets and all that and I was like I need to have that so let me show you what it looks like isn't this so adorable I don't know why but like seeing this when I open my computer like motivates me to work and do school so much it's just like so cute I've always had just like a plain green background and now that I open my computer to this it makes me feel so happy but that's not it I have another thing to show you guys which I'm so proud of myself for because this is beautiful. So if any of you guys are a frequent watcher of my channel or you just so happen to have watched other school videos that I've made, you know that I live by Notion. This is not a brand deal. It sounds like a brand deal, but I promise it's not a brand deal. I literally have convinced like all my friends to start using this. It has saved my life so much. I just love Notion and no, this is not sponsored. This is coming out of like my brain and my heart. I love this so much. My freshman year of college, I started using this website called Notion and it was just so helpful with organizing my assignments. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a second, but first I just want to explain why I love it so much. Basically, it just helped me keep track of my assignments so well, and the reason that was so hard for me before is because if you guys are in college, it may be different for other people, but for me, all my college professors have their pages set up so differently from one another. Like some teachers have like a calendar, and some teachers upload all the assignments at once, and some do a couple a week. Like it just gets so complicated. So just having everything like organized in one space and it all like look exactly the same was just so helpful for me. Like without this, I feel like I would have ended up missing like <laughs> 20 assignments because like I didn't even know they existed and then I looked on this and then I remembered. But for the last year, I had my like whole page looking exactly the same and Josie was over here the other day and I had set up her Notion page for her and it just inspired me to like go back through and like change the way it looks because that's another thing I love about it. It's so aesthetic and again, just with my home screen, like looking at it motivates me. So here's what my Notion page looks like. As you can tell, it is currently fall aesthetic, which I'm also convinced that the first day of school means fall, but it doesn't, but it does to me. Once I scroll down, this is where it shows all of your assignments. Obviously, I don't have any assignments put in here yet or correct dates or anything like that but it also has a calendar next to it and once you scroll all the way down it lists all of your classes which these right here are my classes for the year which are applied criminology college composition 2 which i hate english so much i don't even want to talk about it criminal law juvenile justice and principles of psychology which is also exciting because i thought i had really hard classes this semester for some reason and i thought i had six classes too but i literally have english which screw english again i hate it but then i have four electives which i'll be able to get through english just fine if my other four classes are just electives like i'm not that worried about it but to go back up here the reason it is so helpful is because you can have the name of the assignment you can have the due date once you scroll over it'll show you like what class it is for and what type of assignment and once you complete it all you have to do is like click the checkbox and then you know it's done and you never have to worry about it again and the best thing is like scrolling down throughout the semester and like just seeing that everything is like almost done like it is literally amazing the main goal that I have right now is I'm obviously going to open up my classes, read what they have to share with me, but I'm going straight to like the schedule of assignments and I'm filling all my assignments out in this thing. It literally takes hours. I did Josie's the other day. It took her like two hours to do the entire thing. It takes a while, but it's so helpful once it's done. But that is like the first thing that I'm doing, checking out the schedule of assignments and I'm writing them all down and then I'll do some actual work. So let me go ahead and check out my classes and I'll give you guys an update on how I feel about them so far. Oh my nugget. 
my camera just broke. I don't even think you can see my face, but I need to show you what just happened. <laughs> this is the only way that I can show you, but my literal like camera screen like fell off. Like what? I, this, what? I'm so upset. It has been about 45 minutes since I've last spoke to you guys and I only got through the overview of my first class. And let me say, I don't know how to feel. This teacher just sounds like really strict and really scary. Like they're so strict on like plagiarism and like cheating and all that. And not that I do either of those anyways, but like it just always like freaks me out, you know? And it just makes me nervous because when I do like write papers, I like to like Google more information about it. And like, yeah, sometimes I like to use things from Google that I find. And like, it's just so stressful. Like I don't wanna accidentally like plagiarize something or anything and this teacher's like so strict on it. So it just kind of freaks me out. But one very good thing, which can also be a bad thing, but it is a good thing. There are only eight assignments for this entire course, which is a good thing because like less work obviously, but it can be a bad thing because like if you do bad on one assignment, like you're kind of screwed, you know? And this teacher just like weighted grading. So the exams are worth like so much more than like the assignments, which is kind of stressful, you know? but there is a quiz, there's two discussion boards, there are two papers and three exams. That is it for this entire class, which is not bad. It's very manageable. So I feel like I can get through it. And I did read like the first discussion board and like what's required of it. And it seems like actually fun. Discussion boards are like my favorite thing ever. If it's like something that I'm like really interested in like talking about. And this discussion board is like totally up my alley, you know? I'm just so excited for that. That was like maybe not the best class to like click on first because like there was a lot and a lot of reading to do, very long syllabus, very long like announcement. It was just a lot and I have four more classes to go. And that was pro I I'm hoping that's like the scariest teacher because like I pick up like opinions really quickly and I'm already afraid of this teacher. And at first I thought it was a guy, but it's a girl. I'm still reading my next class and I hope I feel a little bit better after this one, but the next one that I'm going to be reading through is criminal law. So we'll see how this one goes and I'll update you guys. I'm more stressed out now. Um, oh, this is so stressful. This did not feel like this scary and like complicated last year, but for some reason this year does. I don't know, maybe it gets harder as life goes on. But in this class, the teacher basically just uploaded like a really, 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 really long syllabus. A lot of spelling errors too <laughs> but there's not that many assignments for this class either there's four exams two of the exams have like a writing portion on it which freaks me out because usually exams are like timed and like I love to take my time like when I'm writing and I just can't imagine like being in the middle of an exam and like stopping to like write a bunch of stuff like that just stresses me out and then there's a paper and at some point you have to turn in like an outline or a topic for it there's no specific topic for this paper you get to choose it yourself which is a good thing but it's also just like so much more complicated you know like i would like to think that i have like many ideas but i have zero right now so that is stressful and also like i'm just so confused about like a lot of things he said multiple times it's due by october 6th and then at some point he said it's due by october 2nd and then at another point he said if you submit this before october 1st i'm like what is it due i don't know so i just wrote down october 2nd just to be safe because like I don't want to turn it on like on the 6th if it's not due then. So I'm just going to go with the second. And then another thing that bothered me too is like for every assignment, like the first exam, he said it's due the week of September 25th. Okay. There's seven days in a week. Which day is it due? Like I'm just so confused. And a lot of the dates that he picked were like a Monday. So I'm just like is it due on that Monday or is it due at the end of that week? Which a lot of professors think Friday or Saturday or Sunday is considered the end of the week. So like, which one is it? And my first assignment for this class isn't even due until the 25th of September, which it's the 28th of August. So I have like an entire month, but I think I'm gonna take a little break from this and like get some water. I haven't had like any water today and I wanna try out like this green scoopy stuff that I have but oh my god I'm just like wow I don't know what to do and I have three more classes and I'm just praying that like at least two of them are just like 
a breath of fresh air because like I really need that these first two like freaked me out like a lot and I'm just like <sighs> okay time to go get some water because this is too much for me now and I'm gonna go ahead and do like two more classes I don't need to update you guys after every single class so I'm gonna go ahead and do juvenile justice and college composition too yay Though for most quizzes and exams you will be able to take them two times but it's super important Ooh. to understand that the score is average from the first time in the second so far this professor is seeming pretty chill which is so exciting so because of that I'm rewarding myself with a snack which I'm going to eat some sour cherry patches which I just got in the sleeping bear dunes from cherry republic and oh my god these are so good literally so good they're so good oh my god I'm going to be taking a little break again because my parents just got done cooking dinner and I'm so hungry but to just give you guys a little update on where I left off I actually went through and finished overviewing my final class and I think that's going to be my favorite one because it's just set up perfectly. It has 20 quizzes and like four or five like reflection things. I just believe it's going to be my favorite class because of the way that it is set up. There are due dates but they're in like increments so it's like at the end of September and then the end of November and it's like a bunch of stuff which is perfect, but everything is actually like released in public right now so I can work ahead and obviously I'm going to get like a few quizzes and like a couple of assignments done before like the end of next month obviously. Like this is going to be the class that like I get done weeks and weeks early because I can do it at my own pace, which is a problem that I have with like online college as you would think like you're grown, you're in college and you're taking this online course. You think they would just give you everything and let you do it. Like, I don't understand why every class is not like that. Like, it's just so annoying that some classes, like, upload the assignment at, like, the beginning of the week. It's like, I'm obviously doing online college because I want to work at my own pace. And when you give me a week to complete the assignment, it's not really, like, at my own pace. Like, it's the pace that you are requiring me to do it at, you know? So that is my biggest problem with online college, but I love this class and I watched this like 16 minute video of her like talking about the class and she just seems like such a sweet lady and I love that. I just started doing like my first assignment for this entire year. It's really easy. It's sort of like my name, my phone number, my email, like my favorite book. It's just like a little list and you email it to her, which is a really boring assignment obviously but it's my first assignment that I'm going to complete for my sophomore year of college which is pretty cool but my parents just finished making food I honestly have no idea what it is I think my mom might have just said pasta mushrooms and broccoli and chicken I believe but yeah I'm really really hungry so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat something really quickly I'm so tired and exhausted. I just literally feel like I've been staring at a computer screen all day. It is now nine o'clock and I started this whole thing at like four. So just like nonstop, I have been on my computer. But to just conclude my first day of school, I feel somewhat at peace about everything. I mean, as you guys have heard me like throughout this video, there are like a couple of things that I'm like stressed and worried about, but Stressing and worrying about it isn't going to make it any easier. So basically what I'm going to do is just manifest that I'm going to have a great school year. No assignment is going to bother me and I'm just going to have a great time because you guys heard me at the beginning of this video, I love school and that is genuinely true. I enjoy school and I've been waiting for this to start so me and Josie can sit here like we did last year, crack the window, watch Dance Moms or whatever show it will be this year and just do school together. It is so peaceful and just amazing. So I'm really happy with everything and I do love my classes. So yeah, manifesting. So it is now time to close this up. I believe that I'm pretty much finished with everything that I need to do today. I honestly like 
don't even really know when like I need to start doing work most of like my first assignments aren't even really due until like the end of next week so this week will be pretty easy so what I'm gonna try to do is like get ahead in that one class where it's like free pace or whatever I also just ate dinner which if you guys know me pretty well you know that when I eat I'm just like immediately exhausted and my stomach hurts and I'm tired and I don't have any energy so I think what I'm going to do to end my first day of school is take a bath because that is something that Carly would do. Carly would never like end a special day without taking a bath. So I feel like that is really, really necessary. So let's go do that. And then after that, let's get in some comfy PJs. Maybe we'll read a little bit or maybe we'll like watch it. Ooh, I could so watch Love Island right now. Mm. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. 